Hello everybody, Random Gnome here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to uh, actually use the Dazzle Capture Card to stream on Twitch TV or any other, you know, site where you would, you know, stream your games. And uh, this was also a request, and yeah, let's get on this. So what you need, obviously, is a computer and uh, a console that you want to record. And with that, you will need, obviously, your Dazzle Capture Card. Uh then you need splitters. You need uh, these are two female to male, like these are three and let me show you one. You need three of these. They have two female to one splitter. So yeah, whatever. And you can get these, I got these at Radio Shack for about six bucks altogether. Uh, really cheap. You can actually get a splitter box which, you know, I'm sure is more reliable but I've never had an issue with those and it's more expensive so and the other thing you need is um, a composite to composite cable so you can actually split the video to your computer. So right now, all we're going to do to set this up before we go to the actual console, uh, just plug the, you know, plug them into their, oh, oh, I'm wrong. Plug them, plug them in to the corresponding colors. And what you're going to want to do is get down here and take each splitter and plug one of the female ports into a color. So each color gets a whole splitter. So we're just going to do that and now we'll move over to the console. So what you're going to do is get your console of choice. Also, sorry, sorry about the lighting. Uh, you know, my room is has terrible lighting. There's one area with just a light over this way and that's all it is. So get your console of choice. Uh, grab the end of the console where it has the video cables and remember when we put each one on each splitter so what we're gonna do you see the yellow one we're gonna take that and we're gonna put the yellow one on the other side in the other female port and we're gonna do the same with the other colors just put it in to the open port that was left over so here's red and where's white at oh god here it is so you're gonna take this and put it in there and that's pretty much it for setting it up and all you do is take the white one plug it into the white port and yeah so we're gonna set it up now okay as you can see it's plugged in right there with the splitters into the dazzle so all we have to do is take the USB port right there and plug it in the computer so I'll see you on the computer okay hello everybody random gnome I'm back you just saw all that humbo jumbo you know hardware stuff so now that the you know dazzle capture card is plugged into the computer what you're gonna need is something called XSplit uh, it's a free software uh, used to stream to uh, Twitch and Ustream and I think you can actually do other websites but we're not gonna get into that we're mostly for Twitch so obviously uh, download this I will provide a free link in the description you can also purchase it for more options but for this we won't need any of that junk so once you have it downloaded go to add camera and you'll see Dazzle DVC 100. Oh, 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 there it is, baby. It's on the screen here. Let me grab the controller just to show that this isn't just, you know, a video or whatever. So I have the controller in my hand. I just push start. And I actually have my TV off so you can't hear it, but the f latency isn't so bad, so I can actually play it from here. But here's a little tip. Uh, I'm not sure if you can tell because this is a video in a video, but some of the movements and you know uh, some things are a little bit they just look a little bit jaggy so I'm running right now alright I got that flag but look when we go down to the settings for this we click on the video and go to settings and we go to cam and go to configure uh, these de-end lasers work really well uh, it actually is differs sometimes for me in any case most people say optimize is the best choice but sometimes standard works a lot better but let's go let's go optimize first and see how different the game looks it might it's on my end it usually yeah it looks a little bit better for me but hey let's try the other one as well cuz you know sometimes standard works better it actually looks a little bit better on my end so yeah i'm going to say standard is my preferred one but it makes the game look a little bit smoother and you know less jaggy so yeah that's how you do that and you know obviously the game looks a little bit bright and you can mess with your color settings uh... 
you can do whatever you want with that don't want to change that look look now the game looks perfect ready for streaming right there but anyways jokes aside set everything back to normal but uh... oops i broke it but yeah that's pretty much how you do it and what you're gonna want to do is go to broadcast and just click on your thing but obviously you're not gonna have that so we're gonna go to edit channels and uh... you know add your channel um... see these are the websites you can go to live stream and Ustream, and what you know this is mostly mostly for twitch considering you know it's gaming videos so yeah what you really want to do is just put in your username and password and you know all this bitrate and buffer this is pretty much your upload speed mine is not mine used to be this good but recently i got downgraded so i might have to lower some settings i got some pretty bad internet but yeah most people should be fine with that and uh... Yeah, you can either put in your username and password, which is really easy to do, or you can go to your stream key, which you can get from the website, but, you know, you might as well just use username and password. And, um, yeah, uh, location, what you're going to want to do is find the one with the le least, you know, uh, latency and all that, so Chicago looks like it'd be the best for me. So it would just help you, you know, make your stream run better. So that's pretty much it. But I will start, I would set up another tutorial if you can't get your game audio working. I know that that is a big problem, so if your game audio isn't working, I have another tutorial that is going to be up soon that, you know, will actually help you get your game audio working on the stream. Because, uh, I had an issue with it, some people don't, but yeah, I will have that video coming soon, and if it's already here, there's an annotation on the screen. So I hope this worked for you guys, if you have any questions, please comment. I will be happy to help you with this. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and see you guys later.